Continental Motors Company was an American manufacturer of internal combustion engines. The company produced engines as a supplier to many independent manufacturers of automobiles, tractors, trucks, and stationary equipment such as pumps, generators, and industrial machinery drives from the 1900s through the 1960s. Continental Motors also produced automobiles in 1932–1933 under the name Continental Automobile Company. The Continental Aircraft Engine Company was formed in 1929 to develop and produce its aircraft engines, and would become the core business of Continental Motors, Inc. Company history In 1905, Continental Motors was born with the introduction of a four-cylinder, four-stroke cycle L-head engine operated by a single camshaft. In August 1929, the Continental Motors Company formed the Continental Aircraft Engine Company as a subsidiary to develop and produce its aircraft engines. Continental Motors entered into the production of automobiles rather indirectly. Continental was the producer of automobile engines for numerous independent automobile companies in the 1910s, 1920s, and 1930s, including Durant Motors Corporation which used the engines in its Star, Durant, Flint and Rugby model lines. Following the 1931 collapse of Durant, a group having interest in Durant Motors began assembling their own cars, the DeVoe Hall Motors Company, using the Durant body dies, in Grand Rapids, Michigan and Oakland, California and under the DeVoe brand name. When DeVoe Hall collapsed in 1932, unable to pay creditors, Continental Motors assumed automobile assembly and marketed the vehicles under the Continental DeVoe brand name for the balance of the 1932 model year. Continental Motors introduced a completely new line of Continental branded automobiles for 1933. These cars were not based upon the 1931 DeVoe, a product of the DeVoe Hall, which had been using body dyes left over from the former Durant produced by Durant Motors until 1930. The 1933 Continentals were marketed in three model ranges, the largest and most expensive was the six-cylinder Ace, next was a smaller six called the Flyer and also the low-priced four-cylinder Beacon. The 1933 Beacon Roadster was the lowest price full-size car offered for sale in the United States in the 1930s, costing only $335. None of these met with success in the Depression-era economy. At this same time, Dominion Motors Limited of Canada was building the same Flyer and Beacon cars under arrangement with Continental for sale in Canadian market, and importing the larger Ace models. Dominion then converted to building Rayo brand trucks. The Ace and Flyer models were discontinued at the close of the 1933 model year. Finding that its cars were unprofitable, Continental stopped assembling even Beacon automobiles in 1934. Kaiser, working with a Continental-designed engine, introduced USA's first mass-produced OHC inline six-cylinder engine. It debuted in Kaiser-owned Jeep Corporation vehicles in the mid-1960s. However, Stutz built both single and dual overhead cam inline six-cylinder engines in, respectively, the late 1920s and early 1930s and the early 1930s Moreover, these were fitted in Stutz production cars though their numbers were comparatively small. Particular models of John Deere tractors are currently being supplied by Continental since the ownership transfer to Korea, as stated on the tractor's engine identification plate. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Automobiles that used Continental engines. The following automobile companies used Continental engines. Topic: <laughs> Trucks and buses that used Continental engines. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Tractors that used Continental engines. 
Some models used continental engines for only part of their production lifespan, others used them exclusively. U.S. <laughs> military vehicles that used continental engines Engine types Continental built many engines for the U.S. military, some by license, and many of unusual type. Inline, several conventional gasoline I-6s were built for trucks, the COA-331 licensed from Rayo, 6602, 22R, and A0895 also used in some armored vehicles. Later the MAN licensed multifuel LDS-427, LD-465 and turbocharged LDT-465 were developed, also for use in trucks. Radial, in the late 1930s seven- and nine-cylinder air-cooled radial aircraft engines were adapted for use in armored vehicles. The W670 and R975 were considered very reliable by the British in North Africa, but were not developed further. Opposed, just after World War II an air-cooled O6 was developed for armoured vehicles. All were supercharged, AOS 895-3 models had carburetors, minus 5 models had fuel injection with no increase in power, but greater fuel mileage. V-type, in the early 1950s an air-cooled V-12 engine was introduced for armored vehicles. Later the AVSI-1790 was developed into the AVDS-1790 diesel version, which was often retrofitted to earlier vehicles. Vehicles <inaudible> 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 Vehicles often change engines during production and or service life. 